All right, it's Adam with Productivity Academy. And today, as the title suggests, I definitely want to talk to you about uh, having a treadmill under my sit-stand desk. So uh, quick introduction here, and then going to cut and uh, do some recording with camera so you can actually see it. I'm not just going to talk about it. Um, but I wanted to say I've had it for a few weeks now. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, rearranging, and this is just kind of the initial setup um, where I put it uh, just to get started with it and where it fit, where I can plug it in, all that. What I did want to say was, and I did this on purpose, was it's a little weird because I have to step over it to get to like where I'm sitting. Uh, but the good news is with that is that one, it works there. Two, I don't have to move it, right? It's small. It's meant for walking or some people may use this for like running. I personally wouldn't, um, but it still weighs like 60 pounds. So it's not something I want to like roll in and out. I'm sure there's some slightly lighter ones, but even if it's 40 pounds, like, do you really want to be like taking that from under the couch, moving it? And for myself, I know that the less friction I have, the more likely it is to become a habit and to use it regularly. Um, the other thing with me, and this is totally dependent on your complete setup, right? Because uh, to use a treadmill desk, you need a desk, you need a treadmill. And then depending on your setup, maybe uh, the floor is going to move a little bit. Maybe you've got other things in the room, like I have a bookcase right behind it, not ideal and something I'm probably going to move. But once you get your setup, you can start tweaking it and moving things around and seeing what works. Like for me, I'm finding it's perfect and I love it for watching videos, right? I can take some loose notes, things like that. It's not great if I'm doing a ton of typing uh, or trying to do like fine, like mouse control doesn't work that great. Not that I can't do it, but usually if I have to do that, I'll like step off, do some clicks, do whatever, and then get back to it. Um, other than that, uh, I think I want this to just be a quick initial overview. So, uh, I'm going to cut this and, uh, we'll head over uh, to the other clip I'm going to do with my camera and, uh, get into it and show you the setup. All right. So here's the setup. Uh, if you've seen the recording previous to this, you've seen uh, me sitting in the chair over there. Uh, you can now see the, my terrible cable management, uh, that, wow, that is just ugly. Uh, but what I did was slide the treadmill underneath and then I've got it connected over to the power cables over there. And this is an autonomous uh, sit-stand desk I've had for, geez, I don't know, five years now. Uh, and it fits under there quite well. Uh, I'll have a link to the treadmill under here. I'm sure I'm not trying to like promote one certain brand. This one I got, uh, someone else had recommended it. It was on sale, picked it up on Amazon, and it's been working for me. Um, but I'm sure you can use anything that uh, fits. Like I mentioned, I would only use this for walking. Um, I just think that that's going to really increase the longevity of it, how long it lasts, and probably won't cause any major issues. Um, being a 175 pound dude trying to run on this, I don't think uh, it would probably last that long, but that's just me. Uh, let's see. So, if go ahead and move this up, and that now I have a program to the right height. And one of the things you want to consider, obviously, is how your setup is arranged. So for me, I just kind of turn the monitor and can pull the mouse and keyboard over, or I can pull the monitor over. It's not ideal. Uh, what I could also do potentially is add a laptop, uh, and I, what I might do is turn the treadmill around so it's the on the other side and put a laptop on the corner, something like that. Uh, the other thing to consider is the noise, right? No treadmill is perfectly quiet, and so you would want to have decent sound if you're using... Um, uh, your speakers or your laptop, you want to be able to turn it up so that you can hear things enough. So here we go. With this one, you have to use the remote. I turn it on and click the button and it starts. And then you can speed it up. So I've got that going. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, the things I've talked about in the video, though, are you know making sure that your desk is stable and the ground below you is as well. The point on that is that if you're walking around on this, it will make things move a little bit. Um, and for me, that really hasn't been a huge issue, uh, but it's definitely something I've noticed a little bit. I can hear the bookcase behind me, so I'm probably going to end up moving the bookcase. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you really just want to set this up, uh, give it a test, see what's going to happen, um, and move things around to kind of accommodate this and make it easy on yourself. All right, so I'll definitely do an update on this uh, and uh, let you know if uh, any issues or anything I discover about this, but two thumbs up so far. I've really enjoyed this. I've definitely used it, and having it there, having to literally step over this is a constant reminder that, hey, it's there. I should use it. You know, am I going to be watching a 15-minute video? Hey, hop on the treadmill. Turn it on. 
Uh, and I like that for myself. I need that reminder. I need it to be present. If it was underneath my futon, which is behind me here, I would probably not drag it out that much.